working on this picture here, this ink that I did of the um, rabbit in the garden. He's eating up everything, but that's okay. He's hungry. We're going to let him. Here's what I got done so far. And so what I'm going to do is I got the carrots, I got that. I think I'll work on this um, dragonfly here, which what I usually do is I do like kind of a little bit of a tan on the leaves just to kind of get it going and then I go back and I start add um, a little bit of blue onto it to kind of give it that iridescent look and you, you can see that you can see the fence shining behind it because their wings are, are not solid. Right honey? Solid. That's my East Coast draw coming through. And dragonflies, when you look at their wings, they, it looks like they have, it's almost like stained glass, the way they have all these little sections in them. And I'm hoping to get some blues and purple iridescence on this because when you, know, when you see them, they do look that way. They're pretty amazing look to look at. So, picking up a little bit, kind of this grayish color here, putting that on there, and I got the basics on there. I'm going to go back now, and I'm just going to sporadically add this blue. You know, really wet your brush. Don't put it too heavy, because you're trying to get that kind of iridescent look to it. They kind of have blue, they kind of have purple. I'm just kind of splattering it like that. Okay. I'm going to pop in a little bit of the purple because, especially on their body, I've seen a lot of that when they're flying around. Of course, I'm not doing I do kind of whimsical painting. I don't do, <clears throat> this is not supposed to be an exact replica, obviously. It's just the essence of a, of a dragonfly. So we pop a little bit of that on there. Kind of get it here and there. Now, before it gets, like, I overdo it, what I usually try to do is just let it dry and then see where it's at and then decide what, how much more layers to add to it and all like that. Just kind of let that dry. And then I like to move on to... Now the carrots here, I did about four colors. I went from actually orange, orangey yellow to the mid, or, uh, like a tangerine kind of color, all the way down to the red orange at the bottom because you're, I'm looking at the light coming on this angle here. So you got the top of your carrots are going to be kind of shiny, whereas the bottoms are going to be a little bit dark. And let's see, over here. So basically what I like to do, here's what I figured out. I'll give you one of my tips. Don't paint your, try to get some of that background done because going back and doing your background and then your leaves is quite complicated. So go ahead and you know get a little bit of like sky peeping through and your fence just kind of dab it in there like this. 
okay, don't get it on the leaves because the pro well you could get a little bit on the leaves but the problem is that is that watercolors you know you can't paint over them really if you're well if you're doing the light the way I paint lightly okay so now you've got a big sloppy mess with lots of colors you can't fix it it's it's hard to fix you can wipe and dab but you never quite get it the way you want if you don't get the color right the first time so I'm going in, I'm putting in my blue, leaving the leaves open, leaving the stems open, although you can put blue with green and that looks actually really good. So that's not too bad. It, it's Don't worry about it if you get some of that in there. I'm going to just show you a quick, couple quick parts of this so you can see what I'm up to. So then... What I like to do is I like to get the lightest color in first. So I put in a light green, right? That's kind of like the base. And then I go back in with darker colors. You can't start with dark. If you are an uh, acrylic or oil painter and you want to go start doing watercolors, you're going to have a hard time because what you're used to doing is definitely not going to work with watercolors. And some of the um, students I have, if, you know, that's one of their biggest mistakes is they think they can paint over what they did and you can't. Um, it doesn't really work that way with watercolors. So it's kind of like um, go light, you can always go darker, right? And sometimes darkening could be the same shade that you put on several times or just go with the darker shade. I would suggest, you know, you always think about the light coming in, keep it light on the top, go darker on the bottom of the leaves. And then when you go in, I'm gonna go back later, I'm gonna add darker, a little bit of purpley blue, wherever I think there's shade. Um, I like to, I kind of bounce around because I get so excited when I'm doing my art. I wanna see what it looks like. I wanna kind of, you know, See a little bit of the carrots, see a little bit of the cabbage, you know, and I pop around. I just get so excited. Here is my my tomatoes coming up here on their tomato holder, and I'm I'm excited to get that done. Look at that one on the bottom. Of, the bunny ate a piece of that. I think that's cute. And there you go. So that is I've put into this maybe we're four hours into this between ink and watercolor, and I will show you more tomorrow. Have a good day.